So, once again, we have a prime example of this generation. And I know every generation has had people like this. But thanks to the internet, thanks to all the current things that have been going on, the lockdowns and, and, and stuff like that, um, people, these, these kids want to do the bare minimum but reap all the rewards. You know the rewards that us hardworking people do? The satisfaction of going home uh, and, and being able to pay for things? They want to do absolutely nothing but get paid for it. Why do you think you see so many of these types of girls starting OnlyFans? Why do you think you see males doing the, the, the YouTube thing with becoming pranksters? Because it's an easy way to make a lot of money. But we're going to see with this young scholar here, this uh, modern-day Plato, uh, Socrates, they have nothing on her. Uh, let's see what this <laughs> bastion of intelligence. Working a 9 to 5 is the biggest fucking scam out there. The biggest scam. How the fuck you want to sit here and tell me that I work every day of my life, every fucking day, but I still don't have enough to pay my bills? How? How? And before you say, oh, get a better job. Bitch, I have had four jobs. Four different, completely different type of jobs. All different pays. Four different jobs, you say. I'm assuming those jobs didn't last very long because either you got there and you quit because it was too hard of work for you or your attitude sucks and you got fired. Maybe if you stayed there longer, you would have made some, some money and uh, gotten somewhere with it. Uh, and I can think of several reasons why you don't have fucking money. Your goofy ass fucking red hair, your stupid fake nails, your stupid fake eyelashes, your fucking stupid nose piercings, your expensive sunglasses. Maybe if you stopped spending all your money on shit you don't need, you might have money saved up for stuff you do, like bills, or gas, or car insurance, or rent, or if you don't have rent and you have your own house, a mortgage, or whatever. But instead, oh, also, you see the tongue piercing as well. Uh, so... Maybe stop spending money on shit you don't need and start saving it for the things you do. Just just a little nugget of, 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 of wisdom. Just, you know, s seeing what sticks. I, you know, I'm just, I'm just a crazy old guy. So, I mean, what do I know about paying for shit? But, you know. And how are you going to tell me none of those four jobs could pay my fucking bills? How? Working for people is fucking scamming, bro. A fucking scam. But then, but then, you know what? There's drug dealers and scammers out here sitting on their ass living their best life. When I don't have time to go do anything fun. When I don't have the money to go do anything fun. But you sure as hell have the money to go... Get your nails did, get your hair dyed, get your nose pierced, get your tongue pierced, get your expensive uh, sunglasses I'm sure you're wearing, get your brand new iPhone that I'm sure you have. Again, not that hard. Sometimes you have to sacrifice things in order to pay for what you need. Simple as that. This fucking generation is not prepared for adult life. They're not. fucking working for people is not even funny like i swear to god if somehow i win the lottery get a scratch off ticket some shit and make get like 10 bands honey honey i am quitting my job and i am starting my own business because i am so tired of working for people like dead ass like, people need to be more aware of how much a 9 to 5 is a scam. A literal scam. It is nothing but a scam. And I'm sorry about my lips. My tongue ring is still healing. But it's a scam. So, she's complaining about not having money. But then she pretty much says that her tongue, you know, from her tongue ring is still, uh, still healing. 
which means it's new, which means she just wasted money, which she could have saved for bills and whatnot. Instead, she went and got her tongue pierced. Jeez, I can't imagine why you don't have any money, you dumb bitch. Can't fucking imagine. It is unknown to me. I'm sitting here, I'm watching, why does this young lady not have any money? I, uh, she seems like a perfectly well-adjusted young lady who who has her life together, and I, I, I don't understand why she doesn't have money. You know, maybe these jobs really are scam. Oh, no, that's because she's spending all her money on stupid shit. The money, she's probably going to these freaking bare, uh, you know, like, entry-level jobs where they pay, start, depending on where you live, they could start at, like, seven-something an hour. So... You're working nine to five, but you're only getting paid like minimum wage. And this is stuff that they settle on this stuff because they don't want to do harder work. Maybe if you had greater aspirations of, you know, not being in that scenario, uh, you might go, go get a college education. And for something real, not fucking gender studies or liberal arts or anything stupid like that. Something that can actually make you money. And she says she wants to open her own business. What kind of business? I mean, if it's a restaurant, I mean, or something, I mean, you're going to have to do work as well. And that's going to be a lot of money being put into that place. What kind of business? What kind of business? Braces, fake nails, fake eyelashes. Why is this mostly the common theme when I see these videos? Needs versus wants. Exactly. <laughs> Stop voting for Democrats. You'll see your life improve. Maybe spend less on fake eyelashes, fake nails, and fake red hair. I think her fingernails are fake. Uh, Zoomers are not economically worse off than millennials in 2007. Thanks to social media, their expectations for buying the latest thing are super high. Uh, well, let's break this down. Cost of looking like a clown. I mean... Pretty much hits, you know, nail on the head there. I mean, stop spending your money on shit you don't need and save up. Like, there are things, I mean, I have two jobs. I have enough to pay my rent. I have enough to um, pay for my internet. I have enough to feed myself. I have enough for transportation. I have enough to feed my babies outside. I have money for things I need to do. Are there things of, I want? Of course. But unfortunately, right now, I have to sacrifice those things. Because that's what part of being an adult is. Once you have a job, and you have sustainable income, and you have bills that you need to pay, rent that you need to pay, a mortgage you need to pay, car payments you need to pay, gas you need to pay for, you need to start making sacrifices. You're not a fucking teenager anymore where your parents are, you know, getting you things. No, you have to buy everything yourself now. And sometimes in life, you need to, you know, okay, let's see. Things I need and things I want. Uh, sometimes you need to sacrifice. Is sacrificing fun? No. But it's necessary in order to survive in the adult world. If you're not financially capable and you're not making six figures a year, you need to sacrifice. Simple as that. And it, it's, it's not the only one. There was another one I saw. Um, same thing. Once again, for some reasons, whenever I see these, it's always females. I mean, if you guys know of males who are doing this, let me know. But every time I see that, it's always females. But another prime example. Here we go. <laughs>
another prime example of how these schools have not prepared these kids for real world living for adult life how do you make time how how do you even meet a you do it you make time i I'm, I'm sure you're not working seven days a week i'm sure you're not working seven days a week and use your time wisely instead of going to get your fake and uh fake ass looking nails done uh instead of going there and spending however long uh to get your nails done you know what is it like an hour or two hours why don't you go meet a guy you know, go down to a local coffee shop or wherever you want to pick up guys and, 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 and meet a guy instead of getting your nails done. You want to meet a guy? And you're like, oh, 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 we don't get off at five. I used to work at SeaWorld as a caterer. My schedule would normally be 11 o'clock in the morning to about four o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Do you really think I got off at four o'clock? No. Most days I was there till about 12 o'clock in the morning. When we had the events, and this was like, during especially like spring break and everything, 17 hour days every day. Every day I was there from about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning to about 2 a.m. And despite that, I still found time to talk to, you know, whoever, you know, my friend, you know, if, if, uh, you know, we were doing an event and, you know, I had to replace one of the pans, you know, say we ran out of something because it was all buffet style and they, the people got up and got what they wanted. So it's like, oh, no, we ran out of little beef Wellington po pockets. Well, take the pan and as you're, I'm going down to, you know, the area where everything else is, you know, you find time. You have breaks. I'm sure this woman has a break when she's in her office nine to five job. You find time, especially if you have a break. I, I understand breaks are not that long, but usually if it's a 30 minute break, use that time wisely. Don't just sit there and, you know, chat up with the people around the office or whatever. Use it wisely. I mean, these, this is why these schools and, 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 Colleges are so much that they're not teaching these kids how to survive in the real world. They're not. They're not. They're teaching them shit that, uh, you know, for equality and tolerance. But what does, you know, tolerance do when these kids are fucking stupid and can't survive in the real world? Yeah, great. They're more tolerant. But we're, we're having these kids with having mental breakdowns because apparently a nine to five job is too hard for them. Because uh, they're working in like freaking Starbucks and too many people came in. So what good is tolerance and diversity and acceptance if these kids are not able to survive in the fucking real world? These are kids who were in school. They had the lockdowns and they were, you know, doing that crap. These are the kids raised on par uh, participation trophies. Hold that. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, just... Yeah, you guys are good. Just, you know, if you fail, you'll still get rewarded for it. And then when they go out and find out how the real world is, this is what happens. They find out that instead of going to a job and getting paid lots of money, uh, you actually have to work for it. And, and, and when they find out that, that it blows their mind and they have a me mental breakdown. Who knew that in order to get paid for the job you need to perform a service because that's what you're getting paid for you're being paid to perform a service you're getting paid to perform that job you can't just like have a job not show up and then expect to be paid for it or uh depending on what job you know lower level jobs like fast food are entry level jobs those are jobs that normally like what a 16 17 year old can do so if you're around my age or this person's age and you're expecting a lot of pay from that. It's an entry level job. And I don't think you should be making $20 an hour dropping freaking fries or, or making sandwiches. You know, other people have said to me, because of my factory job, I should be making a lot more than $9 an hour. 
So depending on the service you're providing or the job you're doing, it should be paid accordingly. Uh, for this person, don't know how much she's paid. She said it's an office job. I assume, you know, she's sitting in little cubicles. Uh, so not exactly a hard job. You're sitting there all day on a computer. I mean, maybe it's the sitting there. Maybe it's the pay. I don't know. But a nine to five job seems to be so hard for these people now that they're having full on breakdowns. Get over it, Skippy. Cry me a river, build a bridge, and get the fuck over it. Just. <sighs> anyway. That's going to do it for me. Yeah. So. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.